I was out camping alone in the desert, far away from civilization. I had always loved the feeling of being alone in nature, but this time it was different. As soon as the sun began to set, I felt uneasy. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. I tried to ignore it and set up my tent for the night. I started a small fire and cooked myself some dinner. But the feeling of being watched only grew stronger. As the night grew darker, I started to hear strange noises around me. I brushed them off, telling myself it was just the wind. That's when I saw it. It was a figure, standing on two legs but hunched over like an animal. Its eyes glowed in the darkness, and its skin was covered in fur. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. As I watched in horror, the figure started to walk towards me. I could feel my heart pounding in my chest as it got closer and closer. It was then that I realized what I was looking at, a skinwalker. I had heard stories of skinwalkers before, but I had never believed them. Now I knew that they were real, and that I was in grave danger. I didn't know what to do, but I knew I had to act fast. I quickly grabbed my things and ran as fast as I could. I could hear the skinwalker chasing me, its footsteps getting closer and closer. I thought I was going to die, but somehow I managed to make it back to my car. As I drove away, I looked in my rearview mirror and saw the skinwalker standing in the middle of the road. It was like it was daring me to come back. I knew then that I had narrowly escaped with my life. I still have nightmares about that night, and I never go camping alone anymore. But I know that I was lucky to have survived, and I will never forget the terror I felt when I came face to face with a skinwalker. I never believed in the supernatural, that is until I had a skinwalker sighting. It was a warm summer night in rural Arizona, and I was driving home after visiting my aunt. I took a shortcut through a deserted road that cut through a dense forest. The road was dark, and my headlights were the only source of light for miles. That's when I saw it. A figure appeared in the middle of the road, and I slammed on the brakes to avoid hitting it. As the dust cleared, I saw what looked like a large coyote standing on two legs. Its eyes glowed in the darkness, and its fur looked patchy and mangy. The creature began to walk towards my car, and I quickly locked the doors. It circled my car, and I could see its shape shifting as it walked. It looked like it was trying to mimic the shape of a human, but it was all wrong. Its arms were too long, and its fingers were tipped with sharp claws. I could feel my heart pounding in my chest as the creature continued to circle my car. I tried to start the engine, but it wouldn't turn over. That's when I realized that the creature was playing with me, toying with me like a cat with a mouse. Suddenly, the creature let out a piercing howl that shook my car. It was so loud, I thought my eardrums would burst. And then, just as suddenly as it appeared, the creature ran off into the woods. I sat in my car for what felt like hours, too scared to move. Eventually, I managed to start the engine and drove home, still shaking with fear. Now, whenever I drive through that deserted road, I always keep my eyes peeled for any signs of a skinwalker. I know they're out there, lurking in the darkness, waiting for their next victim. But I'll never let them catch me off guard again. I never believed in supernatural entities until I saw a skinwalker. I had always thought that those stories were just myths and legends, but one encounter changed everything. It happened last summer when my friends and I decided to go camping in the woods. We had heard rumors of strange occurrences in the area, but we dismissed them as mere rumors. We arrived at the campsite late in the evening, and after setting up our tents, we started a campfire. As the night wore on, we shared ghost stories and tried to scare each other. That's when I heard something moving in the bushes. At first, I thought it was an animal, but the rustling noises grew louder and closer. Suddenly, 
I saw a figure emerging from the darkness. It was a tall, skinny creature with fur covering its body. Its eyes glowed with an eerie light, and its movements were unlike any animal I had ever seen. It was walking on two legs, like a human, but its limbs were contorted in a way that seemed unnatural. I froze in terror as the creature approached our campfire. My friends had seen it too, and we all huddled together, unsure of what to do. The skinwalker circled around us, its eyes fixed on us the entire time. It didn't make a sound, but its presence was suffocating. Suddenly, the skinwalker let out a loud, piercing scream, and I thought my eardrums would burst. It was the most terrifying sound I had ever heard, and it felt like it was coming from deep within my soul. The creature then darted back into the woods, disappearing as quickly as it had appeared. We were all shaken by the encounter, and we decided to pack up and leave the campsite immediately. We walked back to our car in silence, each of us lost in our own thoughts. We didn't speak about the incident until we were safely back home. To this day, I still get chills thinking about that night. I never thought I would come face to face with a skinwalker, but now I know they exist. And I hope to never encounter one again. I've always been fascinated by the paranormal. Ghosts, demons, and all sorts of supernatural creatures have always piqued my interest. But one experience I had a few years ago, with what I now believe to be a skinwalker, was beyond anything I could have imagined. I was traveling with a group of friends to a remote cabin in the woods. The cabin was located in a vast and dense forest, miles away from any civilization. We planned to spend a weekend there, hiking, fishing, and just enjoying the beauty of nature. On our first night there, we gathered around a campfire, telling stories and roasting marshmallows. That's when we heard something moving in the woods. It sounded like an animal, but it was unlike anything we had ever heard before. It was guttural and almost sounded human. We dismissed it as just some wild animal and went back to our campfire. But as the night progressed, we started hearing more strange noises. It was like something was circling our campsite, but we couldn't see anything in the darkness. That's when we saw it. A figure, tall and slender, emerged from the woods. At first, we thought it was a person, but as it got closer, we realized it wasn't human. Its eyes glowed in the darkness, and its body was unnaturally contorted. It moved like an animal, but its shape was humanoid. We were frozen in terror, unable to move or even scream. The creature circled our campsite for what felt like hours, making those guttural, inhuman noises. Eventually, it retreated back into the woods, leaving us shaken and traumatized. The next morning, we found strange footprints around our campsite. They were unlike any animal or human prints we had ever seen before. They were long and narrow, almost like they had been made by someone walking on their hind legs. We later learned that the area we were in was known for skinwalker sightings. The creature we saw that night matched the descriptions of a skinwalker perfectly. I still get chills thinking about that night. It was a harrowing experience that I'll never forget. I've learned to respect the power and danger of the supernatural world, and I never take my safety in the woods for granted. I grew up in a small town in the southwest, surrounded by vast, open desert. As a kid, I used to love exploring the sandy terrain with my friends, but as I got older, I became more aware of the dangers that lurked in the wilderness. In particular, I had heard stories about skinwalkers, which were rumored to be shape-shifting creatures that could take on the form of any animal they desired. I never believed in those stories, of course. They were just myths, passed down from generation to generation. But one night, when I was out camping with my friends, I experienced something that made me question everything I thought I knew. 
we had set up camp on a flat patch of land surrounded by scrub brush and cactus. It was a beautiful night, with a full moon casting a pale glow over the desert. We had a bonfire going, and we were roasting hot dogs and marshmallows over the flames. As the night wore on, I started to feel uneasy. It was as if something was watching us from the shadows. I tried to shake off the feeling, telling myself that it was just my imagination. But then I heard it. A sound like something scrabbling through the bushes. My friends heard it too and we all fell silent, listening intently. We thought it might be a coyote or a bobcat, but the sound was too, human. That's when we saw it. A figure emerging from the darkness, moving towards us on two legs. At first, I couldn't make out what it was, but as it drew closer, I could see that it was a man, or at least, it looked like a man. But there was something off about him. His movements were jerky and unnatural, like he was still figuring out how to walk on two legs. His eyes were deep set and dark, and I couldn't see any emotion in them. And then there was his skin, which looked rough and leathery, like the hide of a desert animal. I knew then that we were facing a skinwalker. My heart pounded in my chest as I tried to think of what to do. But the creature was already upon us, and it was too late to run. It stood in front of us, staring at us with those dead eyes. We were frozen in terror, not daring to make a sound. And then, without warning, it turned and ran off into the night, disappearing into the shadows. We packed up our gear as quickly as we could and got out of there, not daring to look back. I didn't sleep for weeks after that, and I never went camping in the desert again. I still don't know what that skinwalker wanted or why it appeared to us that night. But I know one thing for sure, it was the scariest thing I've ever experienced, and I'm grateful to be alive to tell the tale. I'm not the kind of person who scares easily, but what happened to me a few years ago still gives me shivers. I was on a road trip with my friends through the Navajo Nation, and we had decided to camp in a remote area. It was a beautiful night, with a clear sky and a full moon. We were all sitting around a campfire, telling stories and roasting marshmallows when I saw something moving in the bushes. At first, I thought it was just an animal, but as it got closer, I realized that it was not something I had ever seen before. It was tall, with a lanky build and covered in hair. Its eyes glowed in the moonlight, and I could see that they were not the eyes of any creature I knew. As the thing stepped out of the bushes and into the clearing, my heart sank. I knew what it was, even though I didn't want to believe it. It was a skinwalker, a creature from Navajo legend that is said to have the power to shapeshift into any animal or human form it desires. The skinwalker stood there for what seemed like an eternity, staring at us with those glowing eyes. We were all frozen in fear, not knowing what to do. Then, it let out a blood-curdling scream that shook us to our core. Without a word, we all packed up our things and got into the car. As we drove away from the campsite, I could see the skinwalker following us. It kept pace with the car for a few miles, then suddenly disappeared into the night. We never saw it again, but the memory of that encounter still haunts me. I don't know what the skinwalker wanted from us that night, but I do know that we were lucky to have made it out alive. I've heard stories of people who have encountered skinwalkers and never lived to tell the tale. So, if you ever find yourself camping in the Navajo Nation, be careful. You never know what might be lurking in the shadows. I never believed in the supernatural, that is until I had my own encounter with a skinwalker. It was a summer night, and I was driving home from a friend's house. The roads were quiet, and I was enjoying the peace and quiet. However, my peaceful drive was soon interrupted by a sight that left me paralyzed with fear. As I turned a corner, I saw something that I couldn't explain. It was a tall, 
dark figure with glowing eyes, and it was moving unnaturally fast. It looked like a person, but it was something else entirely. I tried to rationalize it in my head, but I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. I slammed on the brakes and pulled over to the side of the road. My heart was pounding, and my hands were shaking. I sat there for a few moments, trying to gather my thoughts. I wasn't sure what I had just seen, but I knew it wasn't human. I tried to start the car, but it wouldn't budge. I had a sinking feeling that whatever I had seen was responsible. I looked up, and there it was again, standing in the middle of the road. It was closer this time, and I could see more details. Its skin was dark and rough, like that of a wild animal. Its eyes were glowing with an unnatural light, and it seemed to be staring right at me. I was frozen with fear, and I didn't know what to do. I closed my eyes, hoping it would go away, but when I opened them again, it was still there. It started to move toward me, and I knew I had to do something. I reached for my phone, but it was dead. I was completely alone, with no one to call for help. I knew that I had to act fast if I wanted to survive. I got out of the car and started running in the opposite direction. I could hear it behind me, and I knew it was getting closer. I didn't look back, and I just kept running as fast as I could. After what felt like hours, I finally made it home. I locked all the doors and windows and didn't sleep a wink that night. The next day, I went back to where I had seen the skinwalker, but there was no trace of it. It was like it had never been there. I don't know what that thing was, but I know it wasn't human. I will never forget the feeling of pure terror that I experienced that night. I still have nightmares about it, and I'm constantly looking over my shoulder. I know that I'm lucky to have survived, but the memory of that encounter will haunt me forever.